सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू एम जी जी अकेडमी हियर टूडे आई एम हियर विथ अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज कंपेरिजन ऑफ नंबर्स एंड नंबर्स बिटवीन सर्टन नंबर्स दिस इज आर फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड आई पी एम सीरीज सो वाई शुड वी वेट लेट एस डाइव इन टू दैप्टर एंड स्टार्ट so here our first concept is comparison of numbers so in order to learn the comparison of numbers we have to first know about some signs so these are the six types of signs different types and we are going to learn each about them our first sign is the number on the left is smaller than the number on the right this sign first sign so this indicates that the number here on the left side is smaller than the number on the right side so let us take an example so the example given here is 3 is less than 7 so here the point or the vertex which points here this vertex shows that this is the smaller side and the open side or like the open mouth is to the number 7 which is the greater one here 7 is greater so the whenever open mouth is there to a number it means it is greater then the next sign is this one which indicates the number on the right is smaller than the number on the left so here also we will take an example our example would be 7 is greater than 3 so number 3 here is on the right side and the number 3 is smaller it is smaller it is on the right side and 7 is on the left side so it is greater open mouth is there to 7 next the equal to sign equal to sign the number on the right side is equal to the number on the left so we already know that equal sign indicates equality between any two numbers like here the example would be 16 is equals to 16 so number on both the sides are equal neither is greater nor the other one is greater here 16 is equal to 16 that is correct then the next three symbols are not used in these grades which is the lower grades we use these symbols in higher grade when we go in higher grade let us first see the description of the symbols and nothing else this symbol indicates either equal or less than so the number on the left hand side would be either equal to the number on the right side right hand side or less than the number on the right hand side it is used in parts of variables where we have to find one variable that is in the highest rank then either equal or more than so number on the left side would be equal to it or more more than it and the last symbol is quite familiar because we can write here like this 7 is not equal to 3 we can clearly see that 7 is always not equal to 3 but in the questions we don't use this symbol we use 7 is greater than 3 and options also gives this symbol only Do, no one would give this symbol this symbol is again used in higher standards so these were the six symbols you need to know let us move forward so here our next concept is numbers between certain two numbers this is the next topic of our lecture it requires to know numbers between two numbers that is the criteria for this topic so let us take an example to understand it clearly because we don't understand anything with the topic so let us take an example that if they say find two one second hmm. digit numbers between 1 and 100 so this this type of question usually comes in the examination that you have to find the numbers two digit numbers how many two digit numbers are there in between 1 and 100 so you have to remember that there are 92 digit numbers so 
so there are 92 digit numbers then again they would ask a, instead of 2 they would ask like 3 3 digit numbers are there between 1 to uh, not 1 to 100 1 to 1000 10000 you have learned these numbers in place values or 1 lakh also how many 3 digit numbers 4 digit numbers 5 digit numbers you have to clearly remember that there are 900 3 digit numbers and 9000 4 digit numbers then 90000 5 digit numbers these are the number of numbers if they ask you so in this you have to remember these and so on so they could ask one digit numbers uh, remember also there are nine one digit numbers if they ask how many one digit numbers are between one to ten so you have to clearly see that there are nine one digit numbers so this was the criteria for these numbers between certain two numbers so let us take some examples there won't be a question session because this is a small chapter and we will see the important questions now so this is our first question here that what should be the sign of this asterisk here so let us write this asterisk is present here so let us make a box in front of this so 500 into 5 into 0 and a box in which we have to put a sign is 50 into 10 minus 500 so let us solve these 500 into 5 is 2500 but anything multiplied by 0 is just 0 so we will write 0 and a box here then 50 into 100 50 into 10 minus 500 so 50 into 10 is 500 and 500 minus 500 is just 0 so 0 and a box and 0 so 0 is just equal to 0 so let us write our answer in the box that is 0 is equals to 0 so <coughs> this is our next question use the proper sign in between them so let us first again write it with a box 12 into 2 a box box becomes easier because the asterisk signs confuses us with the symbol of addition plus minus multiplication so let us write this 4 into 6 so let us now simplify that is the next step so simplification 12 into 2 gives us 24 and 24 box 24 it is easy you will write an equal sign let us first simplify everything and then write the signs 24 plus 12 gives us 36 and again box and 4 into 6 clearly gives us 24 so our signs would be this would be an equal because 24 is equal to 24 and 36 is greater than 24 so we will write this sign and 36 is also greater than 24 so we will write this sign so our signs would be this one and this one and uh, this one so this is our next question here so hmm from numbers 20 to 60 how many numbers are there in which the numbers 1 and 4 don't exist so here this is a uh, interesting and a tricky question so from numbers 20 to 60 so it is not between so we will consider number 20 and 60 here so let us write all the digits between them in order to make it simple because there are only 40 digits so we can write move your hands quickly So these are the digits, we wrote it quickly in less than a minute, so it seems pretty good. So let us take another ink and we will just cross the numbers which have 1 and 4, cross this, this one and one is there, no, then this one and this one, yes, this one then, all these digits, uh, sorry, 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 not this one. So, 50 is not should be crossed. Then, next is this one and this one. So, we have crossed all the digits, then count the number of digits from the number. How many there don't exist? So, we have to count the rest of them 1, 2, 3, 4. Not this one. 2, 3, 
4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. So there are 25 digits in which the numbers 4, 1 and 4 don't exist between, not between, from 20 and 16. So that is the number of digits. So I thought the rest of the questions are simple and can be done by you all. So this is the lecture of comparison of numbers and numbers between certain numbers. Thank you for watching. <laughs>